Hi, my name is Johannes. Uh, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Caladrill. So Caladrill is the first layer one for AI. And today I'm going to give an, first of all, overview what you can build with Caladrill, what it is about, and a tutorial how you can yourself build decentralized AI applications and agents on, on chain. So in 2015, what the Ethereum showed was if you're able to provide trust guarantees for any arbitrary software programs, then that's really powerful. That's the crux of Web3. But today, if you're building AI applications or agents, you only have centralized platforms where to deploy uh, your applications. And that's a problem. Uh, so last developer day, OpenAI's developer day, a lot of developers felt rock pulled when OpenAI bundled a lot of developer products into their new products and uh, saw what, what works on top of their platform. So the developers need a platform that don't rock pull them. And that's the purpose of Collateral. So those could be the masters of their own, own uh, destiny. <laughs> and so what are the, some of the, for example, use cases? You know, we can imagine everything from, um, for example, imagine on-chain ChatGPT. So the same way that, you know, there's a lot of teams and people building decentralized social, social media. One could imagine having decentralized ChatGPT where the incentives for the users are much different and the product experience eventually is much, much different than, than the better one. All of those examples can, you can also see under use cases in our docs, docs.caladrial.com. So that's one. What if you could actually play on-chain AI games uh, that are dynamically generated? Uh, so we have one one game here, which we have uh, Vitalik. Uh, so you can battle with an on-chain AI called Vitalik. And it's uh, dynamically, all of the lore and the gameplay is dynamically generated. So uh, if I already connected my wallet, and I can actually already let's let's do that later. Coming back, or well what about actually building generative AI NFT minters? So all of the NFTs today are static, but what if you could actually build like living NFTs? Or what if you could build meme coins, let's say like Pepe or if, if Dog had or Doge, that is actually alive. So from a user perspective, you could have a much more a vivid experience um, with, with the meme coins. And there's a bunch of other use cases that we envision, everything from building, let's say like deploying 100 different AI agents to, to build like an agent swarm that can actually outperform out single single LLMs, and the, imagine, uh, the, the only limit is really the ma imagination. So next up, let's actually dive deep how to build an uh, AI app on uh, Galadriel Desnet. And also for context, we are very first uh, experimental Desnet, so meaning things will well fast and things might also break. So just keep keep in mind. Alrighty, um, so first of all, uh, we recommend, let me see, that you uh, connect your MetaMask uh, with the Galarian testnet. So here is all of the, all of the necessary information. After that, you can come to the faucet to get to get testnet tokens. You can join our Discord server for that. Uh, we have a channel of testnet faucet. It is at the moment disabled, but will go live in the next few days. And we also have a blocker explorer at um, explorer, explorer.collider.com. Alrighty, so let's uh, 
and dig in. So once you have the tokens, you can clone our repo. I already cloned this one. Um, so the contracts repo, where in this uh, repo we have main contracts in terms of the GML implementation, which basically allow us to bring AI inference on chain, also the Oracle contracts and some of the example project contracts as well. Um, so once you've done that cloned, you can do the contracts folder. Uh, you copy paste the template environment to an environment. Then here you have environment file where you have to set the Oracle address. I've already done that, so set it here. Uh, and you also have to set the private key for the new account that you just created and where you have the collateral uh, testnet tokens. Once you've done that, you can install all of the dependencies and then we get to the first contract which we will deploy, which is a quick sta start dot so you can find it find it in, in GitHub. And let's go through this contract uh, already together. So we define Oracle interface, which is uh, which this Oracle that you will be calling out has. And the uh, main logic here is under the contract, uh, quick start contract. So um, here we set the contract address, which you already set it as an environment variable. Uh, let me show you here from the docs. So, um, so from here to the Oracle address will be set and there's some more uh, like core um, setters um, and the core logic is basically this uh, this function here where the user calls out this function and initialize the totally call so specifically in this contract user is able to input uh, message, text text uh, input, and will get the response uh, from Dolly. And so that's the Dolly is the image generation model uh, from, from OpenAI. And let's uh, run this. So I already uh, deployed, deployed my contract. I already done this one. And so if I want to run this uh, quick start, I enter the image description. Let's say put like a fish with big eyes. All right, if we get the transaction hash, we can go to the explorer. See the uh, transaction successful. And now what in the background happened was the quick start to the contract called out the DML implementation, which is the Oracle. And the, uh, we have the DML uh, node basically listens to the contract events. If it picks up any new event, then, the, then that is executed in the DML node, which is able to run any arbitrary um, ML uh, API. Uh, might it be open source or, or closed sourced and also provide verifiability for that. Um, and when the DML is done running, it posts back the result to the Oracle and the Oracle posts back the result to the, to the Kickstarter contract. And so the, we have this image that we get. open it up and we have a fish with big eyes. 
So this is a very simple, like the Kickstarter contract. And we have other examples as well in the, in the documentation. Uh, so going back to use cases, we have done change GPT that you can try it live demo. Uh, the, the repos, the front end and the contracts. You can go, go through them. We have the Vitalik game, again, all open sourced. And we, for example, have without the front end, but the contract implementation for kind of like the Dolly NFT, which is uh, similar to what we just went through, but a bit more improved. And so we basically, we take the image that we get, get back from the Oracle and we mint it as an NFT as well. So we, So we mint it as an ERC, so we used the uh, open supply in ERC 721. Alrighty. Um, so, and once you can do the quick start, you can basically also have a look more into dive deeper in how exactly Glider works, how does the stack work, how does the Oracle work, what's the What's the layer one stack about? How does uh, how do we do the how do we bring AI inference uh, on chain in a verifiable manner? The rest of it, and we also have the solid interface as well. Um, so the reference for for that. So we recommend going going through that. Alrighty, can't uh, can't wait to see what you will uh, be building. Cheers. <laughs>